Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite writer. I know it's been a while since I made a videos about writing, but for the month of May, hopefully I'll try to make more vlogs about it because I saw on my previous writing related videos that some of you really followed my advice and I'm really feeling great to see your progress. Maraming salamat sa panonood and keep up the good work. And now for another writing tips videos, we'll discuss about the cliche but golden writing advices that you probably heard before but you still need it anyway. But before we start, you know the drill. You know the drill. Please don't forget to like this video. Also, watch this video until the end and kindly share it to your friends. And lastly, if you're not still subscribing, that makes me sad. Char. Please subscribe to my channel for more awesome contents and don't forget to hit the bell. First one, write to express, not to impress. We've heard it a lot before. It also simply means that you just have to write whatever you want or whatever you like without thinking about what other people will think about it. It means that you don't give a sh**. Yes, it's cliche, but it's really important and a reminder to every writers, especially mga aspiring writers na huwag silang magsusulat para magpapansin or magpa-impress sa ibang tao. Kasi that won't work and you will really struggle kapag sinubukan mo or pinilit mo na magpa-impress sa ibang tao. You know that we all suffered that at some point of our lives now we we are trying to impress someone hindi man related sa, sa writing we badly want to impress someone but at the end of the day we still get frustrated so do not impress anyone just be yourself and express yourself freely pangalawang cliche but golden writing advice is keep on writing and don't stop writing Simple lang din yung advice yun, but the meaning is really profound. No one else is going to write that story, none other than you. Iko lang din ang magsusulat ng kwento na yan. Kaya, keep writing, don't stop writing. Alam ko na ilang beses ko yan sasabihin sa inyo kapag inihingi nyo yung advice ko, pero mahalaga yun. Never, ever, give up. The third cliche but golden writing advice is forget about fame, just write. Well, it's a sad reality and a disappointing reality that some of the writers or aspiring writers today, they're not writing to express or they really want to write but because they want some you know, temporary recognition, they just want the likes. For aspiring writers na nalulula sa mga, sa mga authors na may malawak ng fanbase or maraming reads, for now, if you're starting, forget about fame and focus on your writing, okay? The fourth cliche but golden writing advice is read a lot. Mapapansin siguro ng karamihan sa inyo na isa rin sa palagi kong ina-advise sa mga read, sa mga writers na namumroblema sa na-stuck daw sila sa chapter na sinusulat nila or hindi raw nila alam kung ano yung magiging plot nila or whatever. Palagi kong sinasabi, read a lot. Kasi um, for me ha, hindi ka kasi mauubusan ng ideas or ng inspiration or ng something to use or tool in your writing kung palagi kang nagbabasa. Kung, mab kung isa kang wide reader, you know, you're sometimes kasi hindi lang sapat yung imagi sa imagination ka lang nakarely sa pagdating sa pagsusulat. Hindi rin sapat yung puro panonood lang yung kinukuhanan mo ng inspiration. Hindi rin sapat yung real life experiences. Kailangan din natin kasing magbasa kasi una sa lahat, dun tayo natututo ng formal writing. Cliche but golden. Magbasa, magbasa, be a lifetime reader. The next writing advice na cliche pero importante is right now, edit later. 
sinabi ko dun sa nakaraan kong vlog na yung isa sa causes ng writer's block ay yung pagiging perfectionist. And the only way to keep on writing is to stop being perfectionist and quit all the judgments and self-criticism to yourself and continue moving forward in writing your story. This advice is actually effective for me because whenever I'm trying to write an update for my ongoing story, I'm just writing all the things. Ay maga, ina-enjoy ko lang yung process ng writing and tsaka ko na paproblemaan yung editing. The next cliche writing advice but golden <laughs> baliktad na is show don't tell. Well, madali lang naman yung point ng show don't tell. Kumbaga, kailangan lahat gagamitin mo yung five senses ng character mo in order to describe kung ano yung nangyayari. For example, ito yung example ng telling. Nagalit si Demi at sinigawan niya ako. Telling yun, sinasabi mo nagalit siya. Ito yung example ng show. Nagsalubong ang kilay ni Demi at nagbuyom ang kanyang mga kamao. At saka siya malakas na O, oh, ba Very descriptive. Kung maga, hindi mo direct ang sinasabi dun sa reader kung ano yung nangyayari niya. Malungkot siya. Pero describe mo yung facial expressions niya na nag imply Ah, malungkot siya kasi yung mga mata niya ay ganyan, ganyan. Ngayon, kung medyo hindi nyo pa rin gets, okay lang yan. Huwag nyo nang, you know, huwag nyo nang masyadong problemahin. Just keep on writing. Katulad nga ng <laughs> sinabi ko ng una. Number seven, ito yung sa mga paborito ko, is just focus. Ano ba yung mga distractions sa pagsusulat natin? Ay, nako, walang iba kundi ang social media. Hindi tayo nakapagsulat dahil masyado tayo nadidistract ng kaka-Facebook, kaka-Twitter, kaka-update sa mga buhay natin sa social media. So, sinama ko yung just focus dito sa list kasi hindi ko man siya ina-advise sa ibang tao pero ina-advise ko siya sa sarili ko like, Demi, you need focus, 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 focus. Kailangan ko mag-focus kasi focus ang ang magiging factor ng consistency mo sa pag-update. So, we need to focus. Kayo rin, kailangan mo mag-focus. Tigil-tigilan mo na yan. Puro kaka-Facebook, kakaran sa Twitter. Mag-focus ka na sa sinusulat mo. Okay? Number eight is write for yourself. Dito, ino-own mo na. Nagsusulat lang ako para sa sarili ko. And though medyo... Um, for me, sa mga aspiring writers, mahalaga na magsulat lang muna kayo para sa sarili nyo. Kasi kapag inisip nyo, na, kasi kapag inisip nyo agad yung you know, fan base or whatever, mas lalo kayong may hirapan. Actually, applicable din yung advice niyan sa mga authors na may mga lalawak na fan base. Kasi may mga readers na, alam nyo na, na medyo na, pag nakita nila na, parang medyo kakaiba na yung sinusulat ni author. Tapos mag sila na, ula, bakit ka naganda yung sinulat niya? And then sasabi ni author, I'm writing for myself. <laughs> Para sa akin, ang ibig sabihin lang naman ng writing for yourself or writing for myself is, kumbaga, I'm responsible for all of the works na ginagawa ko. And kumbaga, para yun muna sa sarili ko. Ano raw? <laughs> wala akong pini-please na ibang tao kasi nagsusulat ako para sa sarili ko. Gets you ba? Sana gets nyo. Next one na cliche writing advice na pero golden is be open to criticism. When you're open to criticism, it means that you have the ability to listen to feedback. Negative man or positive. Kasi Unfortunately, hindi lahat ng readers ay magugustuhan kung ano man yung isusulat mo. And some of them are really have the audacity to tell you na, ang pangit naman ang gawa mo, wala kang kwetang writer. <laughs> Though some of them are mean, pero don't take it personally and isipin nyo na para yun sa growth nyo. Pero wag nyo masyadong dibdibin kasi kapag dinibdib nyo yun, masyado kayong masasaktan, may ista kayo, and mawawalan kayo ng confidence. Pero wag din naman masyadong makapal yung mukha nyo na parang hindi kayo tumatanggap ng kahit anong feedback, kahit negative. Yung maga masyadong mataas yung level ng confidence nyo eh, na parang ha, wala akong pakialam kung pangit ako magsulat, ako ang pinakamagaling na writer. Huwag naman ganun guys, kailangan magkaroon ka ng self-assessment sa sarili mo kung kamusta ka yung performance mo bilang author 
kailangan meron kang awareness sa sarili mo. Kung basta yun, huwag kang masyadong over-egoist and huwag naman yung masyadong mababa yung self-esteem mo. Kung baga, ano lang, balance lang tayo. And last na writing advice, may kinalaman sa number 9, don't mind the haters. And continue to do what you truly love. At lalo na kung alam mo sa sarili mo na wala kang ginagawang mali, wala kang tinatapakang ibang tao, wala kang pinaplagiarize na gawa. <laughs> eh, just keep on writing lang. <laughs> Nabanggit ko na naman. Don't mind the haters. Just shake it, shake it off. And that's it guys. Sampu lang talaga yung kinonfile kong cliche but golden writing advice na madalas yung naririnig sa akin at sa mga ibang author. Pero I think marami pa naman yon Pero ito lang talaga yung palagi kong a-advise sa mga writers na nagtatanong sa akin. And I'm sorry if yun talaga yung, yun, yun mga offer ko sa inyo, lalo na sa keep on writing. But if you truly want a specific advice, you should ask a specific question. As well, kasi kapag yung mga tanong nyo na, Ate Demi, paano po yung gagawin ko? Nanastak ako sa chapter na to, ganyan. Kumbaga yung questions na na-encounter ko na pa ulit-ulit at yung tingin ko na pa ulit-ulit yung sagot. So, yun at yun lang din yung isasagot ko. Like, magbasa ka, read a lot. Explore, explore some, you know. <laughs> and, alam nyo na ngayon, marami nagsusulputan din ng mga writing tips, na blogs, and mga articles sa mga iba't author based from their experiences. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, halos pare-parehas kami ng mga napagdaanan. At pare-parehas lang din yung mga advice namin na bibigay sa iyo. Lalo na yung favorite ko na keep on writing. Keep, keep on, on writing, writing. Don't stop writing. Now, if you're still watching this and you feel, still feel dissatisfied sa mga pinagsasabi kong writing advice at may hinahanap kang advice, please comment down below and make sure na maging specific ka sa tanong mo para Matulungan kita sa abot ng aking makakaya. And dun sa mga nag-aasa akin na i-review yung stories nila, as much as I want and I'd love to read your stories, but unfortunately, I don't have all the time to read all your works kasi meron din akong mga kailangan gawin bukod sa pag-vlog, pag-update, pag-edit ng manuscript, and you know, yung job ko. So, I think para fair sa inyo, you can comment down below your stories para malay nyo, makita ng ibang mga nagkukwe, ng mga ibang nagko-comment yung stories nyo sa comment box. I'll open the comment box below. Drop your stories below and tell something about your story like summary or synopsis kung tungkol saan yung story mo. Ang wish ko sa inyo ay na why matapos nyo ang mga nobela, ang kwentong, mga sinusulat nyo at maging published author kayo someday. Pero tandaan nyo rin that life is not a race and writing is also not a race. Kumbaga, don't rush to that goal na maging published author and just enjoy the process. So hanggang dito na lang muna tayo ulit guys and thank you so much again for watching and please if you're not still subscribing please subscribe na kayo And don't forget to like this video and share it to your friends, lalo sa mga friends yung aspiring writers. Thank you so much again. Nakaka 4K, 4K subscribers sa tayo and road to 5K subscribers na ang Tales of Demi. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I hope you're all doing well in your home. God bless you and stay safe always. Bye-bye! Ay, hindi. See you ano pala. <laughs> See you next vlog!